Hi, my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about why I chose to study aerospace engineering. I am currently a junior at CU Boulder studying aerospace engineering. Let's go Buffs. I get so many questions and I know so many of you are here for my aerospace related content and everyone always asks me like what I wanna do with it, why I chose to study it, stuff like that. So today we're gonna to be talking about why I chose to study aerospace engineering, what else I considered, um, what went into my kind of choice, school choice, things like that. So let's just get started. So in order to fully understand everything, we're gonna have to go back a few years. I won't go back to the very beginning, but um, growing up, I thought I wanted to be a dentist. That changed very quickly. I realized I was actually halfway decent at math in eighth grade I took a space like astronomy class and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever um then for a while I thought I wanted to be an astronomer that kind of then changed between that to wanting to be um a math teacher so freshman sophomore year of high school looking into colleges I thought I was going to go get my math degree and I looked into the University of Kentucky, I looked into High Point, Texas Christian, um, kind of all over the board, but my biggest thing with wanting to go to school during those years was I wanted to be on the equestrian team. Y'all probably know I three day event in show jump or more. I used to. I still ride a few times a week during the school year, but I'm nowhere near as competitive um, as I was in high school. That was my life in high school and I thought I wanted to ride in college as well either on like an NCAA team for the hunt seat team at somewhere like Texas Christian or Kentucky or be on an event team like Kentucky um TCU also has one High Point has they have an IHSA team but um regardless that was what I thought I wanted to do I transferred high schools between my sophomore and junior year of high school and in doing so I opened myself up to so many more opportunities in the STEM field. So this is when I was able to take, I took a cybersecurity class, I took an engineering design class, I took a class called principles of engineering where we like built things and coded a little bit um, and did some really cool stuff like that which was a great chance for me to get more exposure to what engineering truly was. My dad always told me growing up, you should be an engineer, you're gonna be an engineer. And I thought engineers just fixed cars, um, which at the time sounded horrible to me. Now, ironically enough, that's kind of my dream job, which I'll do a whole separate video on my dream job. But um, I got more exposure to engineering. I took a physics class in high school, which also kind of just helped solidify that for me. And then just getting to do um, harder, more in-depth, more relevant math. I felt like um, the first high school I went to, you did math one, two, and three, which is like, as opposed to like algebra and geometry, which was kind of just like a big jumble of everything, statistics, geometry, algebra, etc. Pre-calc all just like squished into one, which I hated. So getting to kind of go through Calc 1, Calc 2, and then you could take a separate statistics class if you wanted to at my new school was great for me to kind of um, truly solidify what I wanted to do because I hate statistics. That's not my thing, but um, that new school was great for me. I made so many friends. I was involved in so many clubs. I was the captain of the science bowl team my senior year. Um, I was the captain of our girls cyber patriot team, which we were honestly so good, which was like really cool in high school. So either way, side tangent, I thought I wanted to do cybersecurity after that, but obviously things have changed. Um, so that definitely played a part into me deciding what I wanted to do. I knew I liked engineering, I knew I liked math, and I knew I kind of liked physics. And then in the back of my mind, I always had this idea of eighth grade science class where we talked about telescopes and watched so many documentaries on the Kepler telescope. The Kepler was like my favorite thing in the world. But then for a while there, I thought I wanted to be an astronomer and look and analyze photos taken from these space telescopes. Um, 
not really sure where like the engineering played into that I guess but um that was my big thing was maybe I want to be an astronomer so after doing some research and things I kind of realized that is not super feasible um you can go be an astronomy teacher but very few people actually get to like work side by side with NASA and actually analyze these photos and stuff like that and I also kind of realized I didn't see myself staring at a computer, staring at photos 40 hours a week. I wanted to be in a lab, doing something with my hands, working with a group, um, and astronomy and being an astronomer was just maybe not the best choice for that. Um, around the same time, my dad started getting more heavily involved in planes and things like that. My dad is a CFI, so he's a certified flight instructor. So he actually teaches people to get their pilot's license or private pilot's license. And he's actually building a glass star in our garage, which is something he's worked on for like seven years. It's a two seater fixed wing, um, like experimental aircraft that like people actually fly in. And it's been in our garage for a while. Actually, he moved it a few months ago to his hangar and actually put the wings on the fuselage, the engines in it, the wiring's all done. Um, so he's just waiting on like FAA stuff. So around the same time, my dad started getting more and more involved in the process of building his plane. And I started to help him a little bit more. And I slowly but surely got not super into aviation. I'm definitely not like a plane geek like some people know so much about planes but I found it really really cool um and the cards kind of just all aligned that man maybe I want to go into aeronautics maybe I want to go into aeronautics and do something like that and then at the same time I couldn't get physics out of my head so I was like maybe I want to go be a physicist so Long story short, senior year rolls around and I have, I want to be, do something with aeronautics and I want to do something with physics. So I applied to like seven or eight schools, I want to say, and I had my research schools and my engineering schools. So um, like Yale and High Point, I applied for physics. Did I end up applying to Yale? I definitely wrote the essays. That I, I wrote essays for so many schools and don't think I sent all of them in. I honestly don't even remember. But I had my, <laughs> nevertheless, I had my like research schools where I thought I wanted to do physics and or computer science. So at High Point, they took so many of my credits that I could get a double in physics and comp sci in four years without taking like outrageous amounts of classes. Um, and then I had my engineering schools, which was like Stanford, Princeton, CU Boulder, where I applied for aerospace. Um, my thinking with which one I wanted to do was just kind of take more of these classes senior year, be involved in more clubs, see what scholarships I get, and just kind of tour the schools if I get in, if I like it, if I get money, um, those sorts of things. So, um, I didn't end up getting as many scholarships to some schools as I was hoping I would. There were some like full rides I was like keeping my fingers crossed for with my ACT scores and stuff like that that didn't end up happening. Um, I toured CU Boulder and I had this almost like awkward feeling about it. Growing up my parents always wanted me to go to CU Boulder. They wanted me to be close. Um, and they knew it would be a great school for engineering and STEM related stuff, which my parents both went to CSU. So them wanting me to go to CU, I feel like says a lot. Um, and I toured CU and I couldn't tell if I genuinely liked it or if I liked it because I felt obligated to like it by my parents. And you know, most high schoolers want to do everything their parents tell them not to do. So I was, part of me was like, oh, I don't want to go to CU but do I genuinely like it or do I like it because I feel like I'm supposed to? And I thought about it for a while. Um, I didn't end up committing until like three days before decision day, which I don't know. I don't think you're like necessarily like screwed if you do that. You definitely like have a lot less options. You have a lot less choices for things like your type of room. You don't get to choose your roommate. Um, 
you don't get any chance to be in like an honors college or anything like that because you are accepting your application so late. Um, or in my case, I just didn't even apply because I hadn't committed by the deadline. Um, just things like that. So you're not necessarily like totally screwed, but I do think everything happens for a reason. So I ended up um, committing really late after I kind of just made all these decisions about, I wanna work with my hands. I like math, I like physics, I like space, but I mostly like planes. Planes are cool. There's a lot of job opportunities for like aviation and aeronautics, whether I wanted to go work for Boeing and fly for them or be an engineer for them, or if I wanted to go um, work with like energy and um, what, what's the fancy word for windmill? I don't even know. I have friends working on what, what are those called? Oh my gosh. What's the fancy word for windmill? Either way, I know people doing like with their aerospace degree working on those. I could go work on cars, um, so much stuff. And overall, I just kind of felt like this kind of checked more boxes than anything. Um, yes, the aerospace program is, or the engineering college at CU is more expensive than some of the other ones or than like the College of Arts and Sciences. I felt like it would be the most bang for my buck. Um, I think some of my thinking also came down to if in 25, 30 years when I'm 40 or 50 decide I no longer want to do this and I felt like I could go get some sort of teaching certification and go maybe teach high school like math, physics, engineering, something like that um, because I felt like an aerospace degree would say enough about me as a person that I am hardworking, I'm not a complete idiot, I and willing to like push through challenges, just kind of like those sorts of things, I felt like it would open up a lot more opportunities if I ever wanted to diverge fields. Um, now granted, some people do ask why I didn't go into Mechie when aerospace is so much more kind of narrowed down where mechanical engineering gives you a much more broad um, overview of all sorts of things. And in my mind, I felt like I really knew I wanted to work on either like planes or rockets or satellites or possibly cars, but um, if I worked on something like that, I didn't want to be working on necessarily the mechanics of it. I always was fascinated by um, I don't want to give too much away for my like dream job video, but um. I've always been really interested in flight and movement of things and efficiency and those sorts of things, which goes hand in hand with aerodynamics, which is what I'm planning on going to grad school for as of right now. So again, not trying to give my entire like dream job video away, but um, I just felt like mechanical didn't line up enough with um, as much physics as I wanted to be doing. I wanted to be able to go work on cars, planes, and rockets and go through all the different atmospheres and stuff like that as opposed to just narrowing myself to things that are on Earth, um, if that makes any sense. Because I feel like, yes, I could go get my undergrad in Mechie and go get my master's in Aero or I could go get my master's in aero and specialize within that, where um, I feel like aero gives you enough of a general overview of astronautics and aeronautics, and then also like things on the ground, as opposed to, I feel like mechanical engineering mostly just focuses with things on the ground. And I knew that as an undergrad, if I wanted to get research or work in a lab, I would want to work on things either an arrow or astro and not just limit myself to things on the ground, if that makes sense. Either way, that's kind of how I decided I wanted to go into aerospace as opposed to mechanical, just because I wanted the freedom to work on aero and astro and not just things on the ground. But um, I think that's just something you need to look into. Look at some of the schools you're interested in applying to and look at their classes. See which classes look more interesting to you. See which projects look more interesting to you. Look into research. Um, I didn't necessarily see myself like modeling 
the motion of bugs which like I think is really cool I actually applied for some internships this summer on like um making like spider replica robots and stuff like that which like seems really cool but I didn't necessarily want to like limit myself to that um and I feel like I don't know just look into the classes you can always jump around as an aerospace major I am planning on taking some mechanical engineering classes my senior year if I can get into them like mechatronics which looks really cool but we'll see I've heard so many people say like your senior year especially second semester senior year the last thing you want to do is take like a super duper hard class or like a grad level class so we'll see what ends up happening with that but mechatronics looks like a really cool class that is only offered in the mechanical engineering department but it's all up to you I would say use you know trust yourself you know yourself better than anybody look at what classes you've enjoyed in the past look at what a typical like day in the life of one of these engineers looks like or an astronomer looks like or a mathematician looks like um also look ahead and think about grad school do you see yourself going to grad school do you see yourself getting your phd in physics and going into academia if not what can you still do with a bachelor's in physics i don't really know i think that's up to you but look at look ahead i think a lot of people um can feel really stuck when they're trying to decide on a major and trying to decide on a career path but look at the options i think a lot of people don't understand how many options certain degrees give them and how much freedom they have within that i see so many people even in aerospace getting all sorts of cool almost random majors because there's so much within aerospace that people don't realize exists if that makes sense um if you like biology and kind of like space go into bioastronautics you could go design a space habitat go study like microorganisms on other planets um learn about if you like psychology in space you can do the psychology of training astronauts i did a study on that one time and got paid it was so cool it's really really fascinating how all of these different kind of categories and degrees can all feed in and overlap with airspace so don't feel like you're stuck um and try not to get overwhelmed just go through pick out some jobs that look interesting to you and kind of see what degree could get you there look into some clubs be involved again i think being involved is the best way to figure out what you like um and can just be a great way to give you more exposure with you know clubs competition teams um volunteering things like that but either way that is why i chose to study aerospace engineering i would love if y'all let me know why you chose to study your degree down below but i appreciate you all watching today's video and i will see you all next time peace out bye